Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry about the the little wait. Had to do a couple of couple of stuff before stream kind of started. Um, as always, before we get started, welcome. Uh, let's make sure that my voice isn't coming out too loud or too quiet. So please let me know how I am coming out on your end. And to make sure you can hear me loud and well, the secret word this time would be, what the fuck are the Federation doing? Or just type in SAX, whichever you prefer. Just making sure again that the sound is coming out fine, that you guys can hear me loud and well. Uh, and that way we can uh, begin our little Metroid Fusion adventure. Man, the Game Boy. I love the freaking Game Boy Advance. Hear some people saying that my mic could use a boost. Um, how about there? Is it too much? Or is that better? I, I just is it is it better now okay I'm seeing you guys are enjoying the the sound so metric fusion probably my favorite metric game I'd say uh, with Metro prime 2 of course uh, this is my favorite um, to the Metro game, it's probably the first or second Metro game that I ever got to play, and essentially, it's 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 pretty cool. It's one of my favorites, um, and I can't really wait to start playing on this brand new save file because I decided to simply make a new save on new sort of account on my Wii U it's just for sakes and benefits but before we start the stream i wanted to share a little something over on the discord a good friend of mine named inferno was very kind and did a little bit of fan art that i wanted to share with you guys for a bit i thought it was pretty 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 darn cool and i just wanted to share it with you guys and zoop symmetric fusions fusion suit samus it's awesome i love it so I thought that with a stream, maybe we can have this little little guy over here again, made by a very talented Inferno. Pretty cool dude, pretty chill guy. I would consider him a great friend of mine, um, who is on the Discord. And so with that said, we will begin our adventure in Metric Fusion. I wish this was a Japanese version, because you could choose different difficulty sections. Uh, difficulty sections, uh, difficulty levels. Um, but, sadly, this ain't Nihongo, this is American, and uh, we are stuck with just normal mode, um, and none of that Japanese text, and I don't know if it's actually faster with the Japanese text or not, I haven't actually timed it myself. Um, and before anything else, yes, this will be a 100% run, because... Who doesn't 100% the Metri game? Let's let's be quite honest. Hmm. Let's let's read the intro. I've been assigned to watch the what? <laughs> again, probably can't read it because the X Parasite, X Core, and the Samus TV are in the way. Let me let me move you guys a little bit out of the way for the moment. Uh, that's gonna be terrible. But I guess everybody knows the the intro of Fusion right now. I'll 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 still read it. I've been assigned to watch over Biologic Research Team. So I once again found myself on the surface of planet SR388. Jeez, you guys have no idea how difficult it is for me to say that name, SR388. I had to like practice it a couple of times before I even got to record the, the, the scripts uh, for the Metroid videos and stuff. So every now and then so I might call it Planet Ceres. So. Planet Cherry, or... I don't know. So. It's... It's a silly name. 
It's a silly name. Run our guitar. I don't need authorization to read the text because I am the Adam Malkovich of this operation. Plus, he's dead now. He's no longer authorizing us. He's dead. Rip. Oh, what is this flying jelly? Oops! <laughs> I do like the fact that Samus tried to use <laughs> missiles, but why not use the power if it's faster? It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. And that's the whole reason why X Parasites shouldn't be on a Metri 2 game, because Samus herself says that she's never seen them before. So, you know, I think it'd have been cool to see that in Samus Returns, but it totally makes sense why not, because if not, it kind of ruins fusion in some aspects, I guess, but who cares, nitpicky. It was only later that I learned that the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X, because when it's something sci-fi, put an X and call it a day. 20XX and all that stuff. Man, can they get a little bit more original with this? I'm sorry if I don't read the chat as much with this stream. It's simply because, you know, Metroid Fusion is a much faster paced game once we get into it. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Well, it's so wobbly and stubbly. As a kid, I always loved this effect, and I always wonder, like, man, how how did they do that? And nowadays, I, I just can look at this and I'm like, ah, it's just it's two layers just superimposed on each other, and one is wiggling with a transparency. Once the act had infested my central nervous system, that is a brain, if I'm not mistaken, but not the mother kind, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. How convenient. How convenient. Ah, blah. Again, there's a lot of cinematography in, in this game with this intro that I just adore. And it's probably one of the reasons why I love the, the intro to Samus Returns is because the drawings in that game really feel like a callback to some of these types of drawings that from Fusion and stuff. So I thought it was great. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation headquarters. Because, again, for those who say that the Federation are evil, if they were really evil all along, why not just kill Samus now? I might make a video on that later. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me. Corrupting large areas of my power suits. Dark Samus confirmed. I don't know. <laughs> Dark Samus confirmed in Metric Fusion. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so inter... Inter... Oh. Uh, interrated with my system. I can't read because my TV kind of crops this. <laughs> the stream doesn't help either. That it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my power suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. Again, we don't know <laughs> that much because at the end of Fusion, she seems to be fine. However, the X in my central nervous system, I think that was the brain, were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given minimal chances of survival. Then, someone found a cure. See, as a, as a kid, I just wanted to point out that I've always tried to look for something that kind of looks like this. It, it's, it screams like generic sci-fi vial tube thing, but I just love it. I'm a sucker for those stuff. I don't know why. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. And it's also kind of funny how we have vaccine Metroid in English, but the rest is written in some gibberish uh, G, uh, Game Boy Advance language. Is that like Galactic Federation code writing or stuff? It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. So for anyone who doesn't know, that's obviously the baby from Mother M and, and Super Metroid. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. Then X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. 
Man, I gotta love the pacing of this game's uh, intro. It's subtle, and I love it. And behold, the fusion suit. I I love the fusion suit because it's so different from the Varya suits. And now I'm kind of curious because Sam hasn't mentioned that she was wearing her power suit. Well, the sprite looked more like a Varya suit to me. So it's always been kind of a mystery if she was wearing the Varya suit and or power suit before whatever happened. But I really like the fusion suit. I really uh, One thing in particular I like is the fusion suit's arm cannon. Um... And as a kid, I obviously liked the fence on the left arm because I was like, Whoa, melee attack! And she can cut the enemies with that. But uh, I was just silly 10-year-old me. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn as something different. Uh, I don't know, 50% Samus, 25% Choso, or 35% Choso and 50% Metroid? I don't know, maths. I don't think nobody got time for that. The only math I care is the percentage. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. And here comes everybody's favorite ro Roboto AI. Ha HAL 9000, I mean Adam Malkovich. We'll, so we'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of, of our approach to the biological space labs, or bullshit laboratories, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as, as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining cautiousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I begin sent- and now- I am being sent there to investigate. <laughs> it almost feels like Sam is like, I just got out of the, the, the surgery bed. I almost died. And you, you want me to do this now? And then they're like, we got money. And she's like, okay, I could, I could use some money after, after going through this dilemma. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of, the, of this blunt, computerized commanding officer is something I have to bear. As it was a condition of my taking, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. I'm sorry, that that English felt a little bit weird for me. For someone who dislikes taking orders, I sure knew how to take them in other M. I mean, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other commanding officer, that we all love, don't we? He's the best, right? And I just love this animation here. The, that the sprite work for this game, the sound design is just amazing. It's it's so fantastic, and I think it's part of the reasons why it's held up so much because it's it's very subtle, uh, but very iconic. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the ex-parasites. Why would you send them here? <laughs> Again, probably because, you know, they're studying life forms from SR388, they encountered this from SR388, so why not? And I, I, I assume that it was like one of the nearest uh, stations or whatever. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Oh, I skipped that. <laughs> the quarantine bay is here. Thanks. Move quickly and quietly. <laughs> you are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop the nav stop at the navigation room on the way. I'm linked from there. Is your objective clear? Yes, it is. Now go to the quarantine bay. So yeah, I guess this is not a Samus ship, but a Federation ship. Oh. And I do have to get a little bit used to the controllers from... Uh, for for playing this on my Wii U gamepad. I know I can switch them, but... I... It's just playing it on a controller that feels off for me in general. It's not necessarily the controller itself. It's not playing this on a Game Boy. Feels weird. And here's another navigation room. 
I'm not going for my personal best time or anything. I'm just kind of playing this casually. So uh, maybe later I can do some sp speed running. Because uh, I, I do like to casually speed run this game. No, no, no insane tricks, no quick kills, just casual killing. The quarantine thing is up ahead. Biosanks are confirmed. Be careful. Again, simply teaching us how you use a navigation room, which tutorial wise, Metroid, you are fantastic. And that's why I also love you. Um, ooh, I feel that. Look, it's a horn toad or whatever it was called. And then it's X Parasite, no! And now it's part of us. With the Metroid's DNA and the use of the fusion suit, we can now absorb these X Parasites to give us um, health. Obviously, yellow X Parasites are health. We'll later encounter some green Parasites or somehow replenish your missiles. Um, but each yellow Parasite regain regains at 10 units of health. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate news. The specimen men brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. They ca the X can mimic its prey and any specimen could have hosted. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. And again, this soundtrack, it still sends shells down my spine. It's a good thing I'm playing this with like low volume on my TV because it's... It's too scary even for me. Oh gosh. The, the, the sounds design and the music for this game is amazing. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. If you didn't remember from, you know, the intro cutscene you were just reading. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. Whoops. <laughs> That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But we don't goofed in SR3DA. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. So it's it, it really is like a vaccine. In fact, you can absorb uh, absorb any free floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. And again, it's sort of the game telling you, hey, you, can, you absorb them, you may gain some weapons, just saying. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosangs in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. So it's kind of funny that with only the power suit and the power beam, we're at 10% capacity, not even Morph Ball. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus, because without you, we don't know what to do. Is your objective clear? Yeah. Now get going. I have released the lock level zero. Look for the blinking hatches. The hatches are open, Star Fox reference, anybody? Um, but yeah, that's another thing I liked about this game. It really set a tone with how weak Samus sort of starts because of, you know, not necessarily not having her abilities, but uh, sort of just getting better from a surgery and just sent from to mission immediately afterwards. Zombie dudes! And um, it's it's simply kind of funny that it really helps sell the tone it's not funny it's pretty cool that it's like you only have this amount of percent to survive so don't take this lightly even though you're samus i have received the news from hq they can support you with downloadable weapons data once you have this data you'll be able to use missiles this will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt a few of them head to the data room for the download the data room is here. Is your objective clear? Yes. With missiles, you ch your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Because <laughs> I guess it's her weapon of choice. Uh, one thing I did like of Fusion compared to Zero Mission is that in Zero Mission, your beam is kind of useless. Um, you mostly rely on missiles to kill stuff. And here, the, the beams are are pretty strong. And, and I kind of like that. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation commanding officer I served over the named under named Adam Malkovich. He called me lady on missions from me. For anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. 
Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer out of after him. I don't know, other M other M kinda of ruined some of the stuff that I I imagined was the relationship between Samus and Adam that kinda of bugged me. It's like Adam is holding a grudge for Samus after so long it makes him feel like a ten year old. Data room! We're downloading the zip file for missiles. Yep, trusty missiles. Pretty much almost um, every recent Metroid game's first power up that you collect is the missile. Um, in Prime, Metroid Prime 3, um, in uh, this game, uh, I'm trying to think, Echoes as well. So yeah, it's almost kind of always the first major upgrade you get. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. <laughs> it's located here. I'm reading huge biosigns, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge station or absorb a special type of X parasites coded green because it's the green one. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? It's always yes. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. And we shall do so, Adam. I also like the whooshing sound effect that Samus makes when she somersaults. I don't know. And this we can only break with uh, missiles, of course. I'm, I'm guessing these are like the station's ducts. Uh, ventilation or whatever, but they're pretty big. Then again, the BSL station is pretty big. And over here we have our first item, which again is missiles. How convenient. If we ignore the zombie, go to this room and you shoot this. Oh, look, it's another missile. Convenient. It's almost like we have to... We're about to face some sort of boss fight. Hey, zombie, bye, zombie. Hey, zombie, bye, zombie. So I've always had this question. Oh, I screwed that up. Uh, you're supposed to hit, hit these with uh, the missiles, not the beam. Um, the ex-parasites mimic their hosts. So... Did they mimic those zombies, or what happened? <laughs> and our first energy tank was acquired. And then if we bomb over here, oops, if we bomb over there, we go up here. Oh my god, look, it's another energy tank. How convenient. I always saw that the energy tanks in this game kind of looked like Game Boy Advances. And I don't know if that was an intentional detail. Oh my gosh, it's an X-Core and a bunch of X-Parasites. Arachnus? What are you doing here? This isn't this ain't Metro 2. Whoosh. And he's down for the count. Well not the the the, the Arachnus is down. We still gotta destroy the X Core. Um and there we go. First boss down, and we recover a trusty morph ball. A cool thing about this game is all the bosses, kind of like in uh, Metroid Prime 2, they they use your weapon against you of sorts. Um, so, you know, Arachnus turned into a ball that one time, and he gives us the Morph Ball. Um, and it's pretty cool. And again, these ducks are here to teach us that um, you can, you know, sort of go into, hold, hung on, hang on to a ledge and Morph Ball your way into, because this is the first 2D Metroid game that implements the whole lich grab mechanics, which when I was a kid, um, and I played this before Super, if I don't, if I remember correctly, um, and I always found like, how come Samus can grab the ledge? It's so dumb and blah blah. And, uh, it, it was it was like, well, yeah, this is an upgrade that Samus needed. Samus, it's as it it is. Uh, no, let's let's try that again, Albert, without stumbling. Samus, it's just as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Oh no! Sector 1, SRX, shows several abnormalities and biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the Axis shaft and use Elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes. Use the nav navigation room just inside for further breathing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment 
may also be linked to this earlier explosion. Hmm. We, we got a culprit upon our mists. I wonder how they might look like. I really do. And again, I just want to take this moment to give a quick shout out again to Inferno on the Discord for the lovely, lovely fan art of Fusion Suit Samus that's on the right side of the screen. Very talented guy, and I'm pretty, pretty, pretty like his art style. Whoa! What is this? Should I maybe start looking away now? It's another Samus, but I'm so confused. And uh, it's like, That's no Samus. Those are not Samus eyes. And this is the other feature why I love Fusion. The SAX is so cool. The presses, the animus uh, feeling that I feel Retro really did capture well on Dark Samus. Uh, but I do like that they just didn't copy SAX. Uh, they did their own thing with Dark Samus. Um, and that's why I love it. And I cannot tell you how much nightmares I got from uh, that uh, face shot alone. And I hate it more because if you ever go to the Wii U eShop and you look at the Metroid Fusion trailer, it's pretty much one of the first things they you see to jump scare you. It's like Nintendo knows that it was so scary that they just implemented it into the trailer of this game on the eShop. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. I wonder who it is. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. Uh, Sci-fi mumbo jumbo. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. I never got that because I thought S SRX was supposed to be, you know, SR38. What, what is so different from their home planet? They are already reproducing clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them is your objective clear now get moving and this is what i consider to be a, a highlight point for the game because it's really the only big portion where you're not told well there's there's certainly but it's like the biggest one where you're not uh completely sure of where you have to go or what are or, or sort of what what you have to encounter um and there we go. If you look up into the top left of a corner of that uh, sprite from the X core and the ventilation shaft, you'll see a GameCube. And I always thought that was a cool little detail. Um, it's easier to notice now that it's like on a bigger screen, but trying to find that out on a GBA screen, especially the original one. And it was a kind of pretty cool Easter egg. Oh yeah, I, I forget. It's best to kill these guys so they don't wreck you when you're... Yep! Speaking of getting wrecked, and this guy just fell on me. This is one of those enemies that I, I liked as a kid, because you could either destroy the wing shoulder fang shells with the missiles, and that kills them, or you can get under them and just shoot them. So there's like, yeah, you can take these out in two different ways. That's cool. It's not just blindly point and shoot. Uh, the only thing I kind of dislike about these Metro games, and I'm very happy that Samus Returns... Uh, no, no! Uh, Samus Returns uh, dealt with this uh, with a... Uh, uh, scan pools is uh, you gotta shoot every single wall to see if you can go through there um, and uh, what the thing I like about the scan pools as well is like again no map room you just kind of make your own map and it's pretty cool and if you don't like it you don't have to use it so I, I never got why people were complaining about it being a thing on a Metroid game uh, considering the Metroid Prime 3 had like an a room in Skytown that basically show you the location of every item oh I'm getting wrecked by the Cibesians. But it was worth it, because we made it down here. And we're going to try and fail at this. Wow, I'm so rusty at this game. And Samus can somehow wall climb and, and all that stuff with an arm cannon. Maybe it's like a magnetic railing, I guess. Atmospheric stabilizer online. Two units to go for stabilization of atmosphere. It's funny that this place has an atmosphere, but I'm no, I'm no old scientist. I'm just a Metroid dude. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I always like the sound they make, though. 
the atmospheric things. Always made like uh, that noise that I liked. I know there's a missile over there, but I'm gonna get it on the cleanup because it's faster once you have the gravity suits. So, you know, we gotta save them frames. Uh. <laughs> I try to be fancy and shoot at it, but I aimed down. Fail. Great. But no problem, we're still here. We made it all the way to the top. Oops. Oh, water. I always found these creatures not to be like crabs, but like some weird bug with flower hands. I don't know why I didn't see like the the claws. I guess uh, Kid Albert had a crazy imagination. Um. Oops, I almost screwed that up again. Oh, just shoot me. You're gonna heal my me completely. Once I'm done, there we go. The RNG has been pretty kind with me in terms of the eye walls. And look, a Choso statue in. I can grab that. Oh, ah, it's an X core. That's different. Oh, I screw that up. Great. Run over. Reset. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I get shoot in the face anyways, and you know it dying there to where it died doesn't really change that much time, I guess. Uh, for the because the X have to flow to like a center area before you can collect them, but that X gave us the charge beam. Um, all the X cores that have beams have that unique property that they are, or maybe this is the one I want to get later. Is it this one? Uh, yeah, but but I'm here. Might as well get it already. I'm already here. That way I don't have to come all the way back. This way is easier. Um, and uh, over here is our last uh, core. One cool thing about the charge beam in this game is that when you shoot it point blank, there's like this sprite there that goes underneath Samus's arm cannon. That deals extra amount of damage. So it's, again, another cool feature that I feel... Uh, Kind of reward it for you to go crazy and just sh shoot things with a charge beam. Uh, so we're just going to go up here. I know there's a missile tank on that safe station, but it's quicker if we just use the space jump. I know how to do the wall jump, but it's, it's faster if you just use the space jump. It takes no skill. Like, I don't know. Uh... Something who doesn't take too much skill. Breathing. Then again, I have asthma, so it sometimes takes a little bit of extra skill to breathe. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, we're done with Sector 1 at the moment, so how about we go report back to Adam and tell him that we did our homework. Um, just for it to not be pleased with our homework and send us back somewhere else. Navigation room. Again, I want to thank everybody who's tuning in. Glad to see you. I'm going to try and stream a little bit every once in a while just so I can hang out with you guys while videos are being made. Atmospheric stabilizers online. I'll get to a little bit more details in the video again after this. But many X have already made it onto the other sectors. It seems in part... It seems. Period. In particular, Sector 2, Troll. The tropical habitat shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it... How come it's not a she, racist Adam? He, she, or it may be in trouble right now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Start moving. I'll brief you at the trope navigation room. So, again, the video... Uh, I know some people have been complaining about too much Krokomire, and I completely understand why. Um, uh, but, uh, essentially the new video is a little bit longer, well, a lot longer than what I'm used to editing. Um, and so it's pretty difficult to, uh, edit and I had to do a couple of rewrites and a couple of re-records and job got in a way and I had to take sort of a trip and, um, and all this other stuff. So that sort of delayed the video and I just focused on the Krokomire because they were shorter and I could put out some content to entertain you guys. But the new video, it's about to be done in terms of editing, the rough edit, which is usually what takes the longest. Then it just comes clean up and then, you know, mixing the audio. 
but enough of that, let's get back to Matrix Fusion. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam, the real and then understood me well. He, he would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? And that's why we had to put it on the Metroid Other M release tr uh, uh, teaser trailer. He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust his computer too. Sam is like, can it, can it AI feel? <laughs> Insert near Automata reference over here. Or, or Blade Runner or whatever. Whatever is your preferred Deus Ex uh, Machina robots feeling type of thing. We know we're in the tropical sector because it's green. And hi, uh, Maichi Big Hands. Hello from where in space. He's saying hi from Italy. And I'm saying hello from space, which is where we're located. <laughs> I have learned the identity of our mysterious saboteur. Wow, that took you... That was quick. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have named him it the SAX. Oh, spooky ice again. Who loves to play the saxophone. I believe this SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay and somehow not destroy the station. Again, uh, again, quick, quick pause. Metroid Other M says you can't use power bombs because it's too destructive and it might blow up. I understand the sense of don't do it because you might blow up a, a, a survivor compared to the SAX who just really doesn't care. But it didn't blow up the, the BSL station like it was supposed to be capable of doing on the, on the bottle ship. I don't know, sci-fi. <laughs> that explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started the disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. You're, you're, you're right, Adam. It's our biggest <laughs> worry. It's, an, it's another Sam is just walking around. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. And again, more of the sense of urgency and dread from this game. That's great. You're still very vulnerable. You're still very vulnerable to cold because of the effects of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. Headquarters says they have bomb data ready to in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out of the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. Because reasons. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first, find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. Again, I'm not one to usually ponder on uh, continuity of, of Metroid games, especially because they're not really like intertwined between each other, like uh, Metal Gear. Um, Kojima's writing is sometimes questionable, but I love him. Um, I wish he would show what the heck gameplay is for Death Stranding though, uh, so I can get 100% on board with the idea. Even though Guillermo del Toro is already there and I freaking love him. Um, but I don't really usually ponder too much on the continuity between Metroid games unless it's something like it happened in this game so it's, it affects somehow in this. Which is probably one of the main reasons why I disliked Other M is like it's so heavy on the Metroid continuity um, that it just kind of ruins any originality it could have had because it's tying itself so, so much into the others. Security level 1 unlocked. Blue hatches are now active. The blue hatches are open, Fox! Shoot it so we can stop this Independence Day uh, copy. I want to call that a ripoff because I prefer the Star Fox Katina than Independence Day. Um, I might stream Star Fox 64 someday. I really love that game. Um, it was a game my dad and I played a lot when I was a kid. So I have a lot of good memories with the game and the series. Uh, and I won't lie, I would totally be happy to do videos on it uh, at some point in the future. Uh, 
But right now, I just want to focus on Metroid um, and maybe Xenoblade because those are probably my favorite games. And here we have a data room or data room or however you want to pronounce it. Bomb data, don't let morph into a ball and press B. And, uh, ooh, what was that explosion? We'll figure it out after I bomb this inconspicuous wall over here. Because the sprites, the sprites look so different. I also like a lot of, like, the, the, uh, parallax with the background. Oh, the, our, our way out has been blown up. We guess we gotta find another way to get out of here. If I only knew how. It's not like I've played this game before. But yeah, the parallax with the screen is its pretty cool. Um, I, I think Zero Mission does it as well and is and also a, a super. Uh, but I really like it in this game. I think Samus Returns again did an amazing job with that. Um, Race me, invisible platform. Um, pillar. It's a metal pillar, man, everybody. A pillar woman, because it's Samus. Answer JoJo music reference here. Um, which, by the way, I'm pretty excited now that uh, by the time of this stream, JoJo Part 5 is about to come out. Now all my King Crimson references that I've had on my videos will make some more sense. A little bit more sense, I guess. Uh... I really, I really can't wait to get some news on Metroid Prime 4, uh, because, you know, you know I'm, I'm not rushing anybody, I'm, I'm just happy that the game is being made, to be quite honest, the fact that I know the game is being made is, is better than just being like, I wonder if they'll announce it, uh, but now, like, a Nintendo Direct shows up and I'm obviously, like, my mind is already going a thousand miles an hour, like, we're gonna talk about Metro Prime 4, and I gotta get it ready, because if they do, I gotta make this video, and, and all this stuff. Um, and so far, they haven't announced it, and part of me is like, thank goodness, because that way I don't have to, like, make a sort of one-day edit, uh, like, it, like it has happened before, um, with the uh, Amiibos uh, racing, oh, racing pillar. Where are you, my friend? There you are. Um, but I, I, as long as it plays like a Metroid Prime game, and as long as it feels like a Metroid Prime game in the atmosphere and the exploration, you know, scan visor and all, I'd be happy. Because um, it's it's that style of game that I don't feel really exists on outside of Metroid uh, of Metroid Prime. Like, you got a lot of Metroidvania games that feel and play like 2D Metroid games. There's so much nowadays that it kind of gets a little bit stale for me. Because it's like, oh, look, another Metroidvania game that's made by some indie developer. And it's great because it's a Metroidvania game. But I'm like, uh, just sitting there like, well, what else? Uh, uh, and they don't, and not much of them really capture that sci-fi feeling that it's what I loved about the Metroid Prime series. You know, with, 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 few, with a few exceptions. Um, oh, it's another X-Core. I wonder what will be. A giant tree thing. I really don't remember the name of this guy. I know the name of most of the, uh, of a majority of the bosses in this uh, game. But this guy, I always forget his name. I just know him as Jumping Eye Tree of Wisdom. Because if you don't put something like in Wisdom, I'll make it seem silly. I always appreciated how his middle hair strand flips to one side and then flips to another whenever he's walking. So first go to left, then right, left, now right. And then it jumps. And it's down for the count. Now I just got to deal with this X-Core. Which, granted, when I was a kid, uh, I hated the X-Core because I'm like, I just defeated the boss, now I got to survive this... A little gauntlet, and I thought it was the worst thing ever. And you know, I obviously was overreacting when I was a when I was a kid. Midnight lights is is it called Pogo? Is it really called Pogo? Oh no, you always called it Pogo. I I see. So Pogo is not its name. I mean, it, it could be. It, it does sound like Japanese enough to be like a Metroid enemy name for if you ask me. Um, 
Now we got our bombs. We're still trying to figure our way out. Um, we just kill that side hopper. And go down. Whoa! What is this place? This looks weird. And oh! Guys, be quiet. The SAX is there. And she, he, it is very spoopy. Okay, he's gone. We can talk normally now. I just don't want to be caught by that spoopy, spoopy me. Spoopy clone. Faker? You're the faker around here. You're not even good enough to be called my f faker clone. I don't remember the exact quote from Sonic Adventure Battle 2. You're not even good enough to be called my... Uh, I try to... <laughs> I try to remember it, but I didn't. Still gotta play Sonic Mania. Oh. Uh, I know it's fantastic, but I, I it's just time uh, for playing games. Uh, and it's like, I, I like Sonic games, but it's no like um, Metroid or stuff. So I'm not going to go crazy over it as much as like I did for legitimately the Starlink Star Fox crossover. Only because it's like the closest thing we're going to get to a Star Fox game on the Nintendo Switch. And I get to own a, a toy version of the R-Wing, which has always been a dream of mine. Uh, I've, oh, when I was a kid, I had like this whole idea plan for Nintendo branded toys. And it's like, you can buy Fox and uh, the R-Wing and the Landmaster, and you can put them all inside the, the Great Fox, and it'd be cool. And, you know, sadly never happened. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it kind of happened. We do have Fox toys and, uh, and figures from the world of Nintendo. And there's some Amiibos, I guess. Definitely getting the Wolf Amiibo with Ridley when it comes out. I, I would say the same for Snake, but I don't think Snake is coming out on release day. Samus, we've got trouble. And obviously Dark Samus, whenever that gets released. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded the water environments in Sector 4. Oh no, not the water. Aqua, aqua with several thousand X. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. Uh, I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Is your objective clear? Of course. Now head to Sector 4. And so we shall, Adam. And so we shall. We're just going to go up this dandy elevator. And Samus is going to take her time to do a little bit of a monologue. And while she's doing that, I'm just going to take a sip of water. Remember to stay hydrated. Remember to stay hydrated. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. I'm currently in my current state. I can't face it head on. The SAX is me. The SAX is me. Only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. And now we're gonna go over here and let's go down this elevator. Now, the unique thing of Sector 4 compared to the other sectors is that the rooms are located to the left of the elevator. Oh my gosh! And it's the only sector to do that. Here as a kid I was like, oh cool, From maybe from 4 and above they'll be on the left, but no, it's only Sector 4. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the XAX a high, has a high degree of intelligence. I find the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I digress. This sector is home to a very large creature. The research is called the researchers called Zeris. It is capable of moving and attacking at ultra high speed. The more seamless and widespread destruction here may be attributed attribute Oh my gosh. How do you spell how do you say this word for 200? May be attributable to Zeris. No doubt the SAX released it. But I can't be sure why jets. 
or how it got to the other parts that are wrecked, considering that it's kind of locked in a fish tank. Ceres is returned often to the breeding tank here. Its natural behavior must to be to go back to it period periodically. It's a viable specimen, blah blah blah, I skipped it. Terminate it. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. Is your objective clear? Yes. While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water, but we can't cut the power. Doing so will affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. And indeed, we shall go into the recharge room, bypassing that, and going over here, falling suit with all this shenanigans. And now we're over here in sector four. Oops, I screwed that little trick up. Uh, can we make it? Yeah, we did. That's good. I didn't know you can do that. Make that jump. Wait, this is this is not where I want to go. Whoops, I'm I'm thinking of another location. It's in this room coming up uh, where we have to go up to get an energy tank. Uh, just for the sake that it's it's gonna be in our way. Over here. And now. These two eggs become a bigger fish that so we're just gonna completely ignore because you know tradition. Ugh. If I if I just could make that jump, I would have not wasted those seconds. Now we go through this door. Hooray, an energy tank. <laughs> Revolution um is saying, um Orpheon. Capcom just announced a live-action Mega Man film. Send help. Um, I don't know if I can send help. Oh. I mean, if you told this 10-year-old me, I'd probably be excited because it's a Mega Man movie. But I know it's... I know it. Video game movies don't work. Unless your movie plays... Your game plays like a movie, like Uncharted or Last of Us or some other Naughty Dog game. Or I guess Metal Gear in some sense. Magnetic railings, I guess. Or burnt magic. Maybe that's the way of how Samus can uh, go through those railings over there. Who knows? And we're just gonna go collect this missile tank and get out of here. And now we'll go downstairs. Woo! Wait, did I miss a missile that I could get? No, I already did that. I was thinking about the missile I just collected. That's That goes to show how much my brain kind of goes in, into uh, autopilot when I'm playing this game. Because I've played it for a lot of years now. We're just gonna go down here, up this ladder, through this door, and I'll take the time to save since we haven't saved so far. And if I died, we'd have to go all the way to the beginning, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Especially me. I mean, I love this game, but I don't wanna go back all the way from the start. And now we're gonna go through the dead body of whatever Ceres was, I guess. Dead body. Skeleton. And look, it's another eye door. How convenient. With the sinister music. I wonder if there's gonna be a boss next to this. I wonder. Um, rip headphone users. Second loudest boss in Metric Fusion. Ceres. It's got a nice techno music of sorts, I guess. It's pretty upbeat. It's 
lure it up here. Ah. Oh. Come on, Ceres. Oh. I never really learned Ceres' patterns. I just... I just learned it. Okay. Jump over here so you can lure it up here. And then just... Ah! Avoid it at all costs, whenever possible. And you shall be fine. Come on. Gosh. That could have been it. That could have been it. This run is ruined because I missed two charge shots. Ruined forever. Ruined forever. Now we gotta deal with the X core. Hopefully, I won't fall in the water, which is something that happens to me a lot. Ah! No! I refuse! I refuse to go in the water, no! Yes! <laughs> I killed Ceres without falling in the water. Great. And with this, we got the speed booster. My favorite power up. And it's great. Ooh, the stream is lacking. Give me a quick second, and I'll fix that. Well, I'll try to fix that. My internet's not the best sometimes, so... I, I don't want to blame it just on my internet, but it, it may be a reason. Oh. Why the stream might be going lagging. It might be the X just infecting my stream. Or it might be too much stuff going on on the overlay. Not quite sure. Um. Uh, let me know if it keeps on lagging. I try to see if I can fix something. Uh, I always miss that. It is possible for you to, like, barely uh, hit the those blocks with the Shine Spark to get your way through, but it's, it's a pretty difficult trick. Um, and over here, there's another hidden missile. Who left it here? Whose footprints are these? Ah! Let's hug this wall, go over here, down there, and up here. Now look, it's another missile. How how convenient. How convenient. And now we have to do something about this water so we can get back to Adam and report him that we have taken care of Ceres. Uh, fortunately, there's not many rooms that you can actually go. Like sometimes I wonder uh, how I would kn how I knew world uh, how to find like these rooms and all that stuff, or how I went around my first playthrough of Metroid Fusion when I was a kid. And boom! If we were going for any percent, I would just shine spark through this door all the way back. But there's one missile over there that we need. And we can't collect the missile and keep our sh speed booster for the Shine Spark at the same time, sadly. So, nothing we can do there. And now we'll go over here. This won't help much, but I just like using the Shine Spark hoe. And, uh... Excuse you, guys. Excuse you, Cable. Excuse you, Cable! See if I can make this. Yeah, I did. But I <laughs> I missed grabbing the missile. Oh well. Nothing you can not much you can do there. Is this enough? No, it's not. I knew I knew it was not gonna be enough. So we gotta go all the way back here, waste a couple of seconds. 
and speed boost your way through this, through this, and just for good measure, through you. <laughs> oh look, it's golden and it's dead. How special. And now, let me just return to Adam and see what, what else is new. I do think that I'm gonna do Sector 3 and then maybe call it for a stream. Um, uh, simply because I, I got some stuff to do before I hit the hay and go to work tomorrow. So we'll do Sector 3 and then we'll call it a stream. So Ceres has been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you've recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to phase the XAX yet, but that's still a ways off. Headquarters has more support data. This time, it's a missile upgrade data. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed by a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 was blocked by still more X activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern, as if it's blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3 pair. You will find the pair data room on your map after using the navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Yeah. Now head for Sector 3. I, I guess that we couldn't use the one in the main deck because the elevator is still not operational, so... While we're stuck down here, um, I guess we'll head over to Sector 3 and take care of stuff. Sector 3 is this way. Emergency on Sector 3. We're still too early for that. We're still too early for that. Still too early. Navigation room. Oh look, it's the nice little pretty map. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the SAX and the x parasites into the area, but we're left with no other choices. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus. You will see very violent organisms here and avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suits can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green, release the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super missile data is ready, your firepower will triple. First, activate the green hatches then go to the data room. There are, there are no ultra heated areas on this route, so turn back if you enter one. Thanks for letting me that know. Uh, thanks for letting me know that game. There's only one or two wet, two rooms in this entire sector. They're actually super heated. I always love that, that you can just, like, hold right into that wall and you're, like, facepalm into it, like, or not facepalm, but, like, just body it as a tank. Here's another missile. Let's see if I can make this jump. Oh, no, I can't. I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna take longer than just waiting for those blocks to reappear. So we can jump into this wall. Bomb over this little thingy here, and oh look, it's a security room with a green thing. How convenient. How very convenient. Level 2 green has been unlocked. Oh, excuse me. And we just ran over another one of those enemies. We went through the here, we're gonna go through this. And these walled worms. Worms of the wall. To speed boost our way over here. Avoid these flying thingies. And climb our way up. Get hit. Because stupid. 
and go through this room, which is a little bit infamous in speedrunners, because this is the one missile that you can't skip. You can't skip it, at least by easy conventions, if I'm not mistaken, and that's why you can't do a 0% run of this game. Um, instead, you have a 1% run, because in this game, um, as opposed to the, uh, say, the Prime games, where your main weapons... Um, I do believe count for the total percentage com for the completion. Uh, and Metro Fusion is just a power up, so the item pickups like energy tanks and stuff, so these won't work. And now we have super missiles. How, how convenient again. Let's go through this green door. And all of a sudden, we hear something shaking, so how about we go check that out? Oh, our exit is gone and oh no the room is rumbling but before we gotta go down here before we figure that out we gotta go down here now that we have our super missiles they deal three times damage of a regular missile if i'm not mistaken or at least to what adam just told us if not he's lying and i wouldn't be surprised if he's lying to us So let's go back and see if there's another way around this and what is oh my god it's a robot it's a it's box the robot ah explosion tower When I was a kid, I really didn't know how to avoid those bombs because, you know, logically you would stand away from it. But then I learned that you can, um, as opposed to just waiting for the flames to drop, he just jumps away. You can just uh, stand over the, the bomb when it explodes and the sprites start moving as soon as the explosion takes place. So you don't have to worry about uh, being hit or anything. I know there's a... a uh, an energy tank over here, but it's technically quicker if we get it uh, once we get the, the power bomb. So I'm gonna do that. I'm at least gonna uh, and do as much as I can remember from like the speed running route for 100%. And sadly, this is where the stream has to end because I have a few things to do. I'll just recharge here really quick. And then go over the save station and save our game. And essentially, um, call it a bit of a stream. I am very happy for you guys to be able to join uh, this stream on sort of a small notice. I'll try to do a stream every once in a while. Um, I, I can't promise any regular schedules at the moment because um, of work and other stuff like that. And I rather focus the time that I would be streaming into uh, essentially making more videos and, uh, and getting animations done and all that mumbo jumbo. But I do have fun streaming some games and uh, maybe uh, seeing how things go, I may do another stream on Saturday. Not necessarily Metric Fusion, maybe more uh, something that we can play co-op uh, like mario kart or mario tennis aces and some monster hunters um but we will continue uh i, I will continue there's no way bernie's not here today uh with the streams at some point and uh and essentially continue our journey with metroid fusion and metroid prime 2. i i i just want to wait for uh maybe deciding what i'm going to do with a prime 2 stream at the moment so that's why i kind of took the time to do the stream with uh fusion but uh just like i said the new video is almost done um it shouldn't take me much longer from now to complete it because there's no extra footage i need to record or no extra things that i need to voice or or write or include because i didn't want to make it a two-parter and it's like a 20 minute long video which i know it might be a lot but i'd rather do all of that so that i can get all my thoughts in one video 
and uh, essentially until that time comes which will be pretty soon uh, I'll keep on doing a stream every once in a while so that way we can sort of chill because I have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and, and, and just taking a moment and chill and I say well if I'm gonna play a video game why not take the time and talk to some people and stuff like that um, and maybe I'll do some other games in the future because uh, I even though I know it's mostly Metroid I want to spice things up a little bit so it's not only Metroid uh, but before I go as always I want to give my usual shout outs uh, first of all I want to give shout out to Giovanni who's on the stream how's it going dude uh, it's been a while I'm very happy that, that you could catch the stream uh, but I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Gabe, aka Hillgab, who is responsible for making the stream overlay, the channel's logo, background, icon. He's a great, talented artist. Um, and he's a pretty cool dude. He's helped me uh, with this stuff on the channel and sort of helped me in the beginning. As well as I want to give a shout out to my friend Kathleen, also known as Kathweeny on Twitch, who or Kathween on Twitch. She does a couple streams as well she does a lot of art streams and uh, game streams I show up in those uh, every once in a while Gabe also does streams and I also uh, show up there every once in a while uh, and she Kathleen at the moment is working on making another overlay for our videos not because not because I dislike this but I kind of want to have two uh, to spice things up as always and maybe use one for metric games use another one for any other game and stuff like that just having a little bit of variety for you guys um gabe is also responsible for creating the assets that i use to animate by the way um and kathleeny is a super talented artist i really like her style and her stuff and the last shout out is in uh my the talented artist who makes the chavis and a lot of stuff known as momokishi on twitter He's extremely talented and, and very, very, very cool guy. And he uh, does all sorts of different art styles. So he's not only with the chibis. And the last shout out I want to give is to my good little buddy, Krokemeyer, who will probably catch the stream after his studies and whenever it's posted on YouTube. With that said, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next time.